Ah, great swim. The vertebrae is the backbone to the human body. Gin is the backbone of any cocktail. Well, what happens if you're gonna make a mocktail? May I present to you gin from Ish Spirits today on Off the Rocks. I'm Rick Tickles, and I have a backbone. Today on the show is Ish Spirits. They took home nine awards at the 2021 Best Bartender Awards, but the focus of today is this, Gin Ish. Gin is a timeless beverage. Gin goes back centuries. It is like the aristocrat. It is sophisticated. They probably drank it in the Titanic. Gin is actually one of the reasons why I don't drink anymore. One too many gin martinis at the Beehive off Tremont in the south end of Boston. And yeah, that'll do it for you. But I love gin. So the fact that gin-ish is a way for me to get back into that juniper, that berry, I can't even explain how excited I am to mix up a couple of my favorite beverages. To replicate gin, you need coriander, you need juniper, you need citrus, you need all of these different earthy botanicals. So let's see if they can actually do that. From the source, drinking from the waterfall. Woo! That's my first shot of gin since freshman year of college. Thank you, Rusty, Rosie, Timby, Patty, Petey, Vandy. Big horns! I'll do one more. I'll do one more. It's a celebratory show. We'll do one more. Woo! Drinking gin from the bottle just like the ancestors wanted. None of my ancestors drink gin. I think we have to go with the favorite, the gin and tonic. Pour it a little bit here. Please, the lime in and the lemon top it off with some of this how's that look for you mix that all around <laughs> it overflows just a little bit oh adirondack chair slight recline sunset over there people you love around you grassy field right down to the water are you there they could serve this on peaky blinders where's the gin and tonic tummy this is hig in a glass i'm making another one we're gonna do a salt the dog grapefruit Fizz. Order up. Put a bunch of grapefruit juice, some lime in there. Top it off with some gin, and then we'll bring in the trusty Pellegrino just on top there. That little pink is what you're gonna go crazy about. And I'll actually add a little bit of grapefruit just on top. First sip. Wow. This might be the drink of the season. Drink of the season! Drink of the season! D-O-T-S, the dots. The grapefruit fizz is for your babysitter. The gin and tonic is for your grandma. And Ricky Tickles. Is for your mama. Ricky Tickles likes bondage. Bond. Idge. So I'm gonna sneak another sip in here. And as I do that, I'm gonna have the team from Ish send a little message to everyone here at the Tickles Tropic and watching at home. Hey friends, my name is Morton. I am the founder of Ish. And we're super excited to be on the menu at the Tickles Tropic. We're celebrating by offering a 15% off your next order, friend Ish. And uh, we can't wait to see you there. It's at the syrupproof.com. Go get yourself some ish. Can't wait to see you there. Stay thirsty, stay mindful. We are in the collaboration economy. Those links have no kickbacks to me or the show. It's truly just something that I wanted these brands to incentivize everyone watching this to try one of these brands. Mail time, folks. I don't want no I. Ricky TT, what? When you host people, do you keep alcohol on your home bar just in case you wanna make them feel comfortable and offer them something? Alex and Amy, that's a damn good question. I personally don't. I don't think you need it either. You know, I, I think it's very fair to say, hey, if, if you wanna bring your own alcohol, you're totally welcome to do so. I'm not gonna spend my money to buy something I'm not going to drink. I'm not gonna invest in having alcohol on my bar. It's only there. I'm, I'm never gonna drink it. If anything, it might be a temptation. I do get a lot of excitement for making a mocktail or introducing a non-alcoholic beer or spirit or ready to drink type beverage to someone who comes over. If someone wants to come over, let them bring their own. B-Y-O-B. Well, folks, we made history today. We had a drink of the season on the show. Like Jordan coming out of retirement, Rick Tickles is back with his long lost lover, Jim. Thanks for coming to the Tickles Tropic. I...